higher one. Let's talk about Digital World Acquisition, the DWAC company, which is merging with the Donald Trump's Planet social media platform. This is already 400% up, almost 400, but it was near 390 something. It was currently 373%. And yeah, so there's the social media platform, Truth Social. This is uh, announced to be merged with, actually they raised a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, shares, so more than uh, have already changed, according to facts that, and uh, in my opinion, I just want to check, is there uh, fundamental research needed or technical analyze, because uh, usually in M&A companies, there's, a, as you can see, a snowflake analyze shows nothing, and uh, the usually SPAC companies has not reported any financial data, they are mentioned to be highly illiquid because of the target. So when the target is unknown, when the company is announced to be a SPAC company and they just collect the money for the potential merging uh, company. But anyway, this is pretty highly volatile so we've seen that they entered back in 2017 there's the checkpoints there and this is all time 88 percent so as you can see it yeah it could soar like uh, 60 percent and then within a few days 366 percent up and uh, so on but anyway Somehow it shows to the 2017, but it's found in 2020. I'm not sure where the problem. But anyway, uh, of course, SPAC companies has no revenue at all, no earnings. They're just for the money collection. So whenever they print the money, the company raises the capital. And once they are merging, the capital is moving in some sort of there's a two possibilities actually even it's moving to the capital itself or through the cash of course it's usually through the cash uh, through the capital and that's the whole idea in this one of course in the valuation side there's no price targets for this one so this is actually pretty risky usually spec companies are risky to invest in because they're no got no revenue no earnings only the belief for the future company that they're merging with so in this case this is the social media platform i'm not sure if somebody is into this uh, knows how the platforms are making money how they can be capitalized you can just read those kind of um, those kind of uh, sites where you can analyze but in my opinion there's a lot of risks so if you are conservative long-term investor I guess there's a too risky to enter this kind of stuff anyway future growth for the Industry is forecasted over 3% past performance. Actually, th this one is also for the company. Financial health, actually, they did not even report uh, nothing to hear. I'm hoping that there's insider transactions. Yes, there is. There's a chairman, CEO of the company, have been buying back in September when the price were $10.00. There's there's the sum. So this is actually pretty big investment, eleven million ownership breakdown. This is interesting too. General public holding fifty nine percent, insiders almost fifteen, hedge funds fourteen, institutions eleven, and top shareholders. So we see here 
many of the directors here 0.02 percent owned and yeah chief financial officer 0.27 and to the ceo almost 15 percent but anyway i didn't find this company even in finviz a simple save dividends does not have any data so this is pretty hard to calculate and for those who are entering while the stock price is already up to 300 percent there's a high possibilities that there would come possible corrections so be careful even if the simple wall street summary the stock as a strong buy be always careful this could be turned pretty bad or pretty good so this is not any kind of advice but be careful guys anyway thanks for watching this video subscribe to the channel like the video and see you in a future one